I'm going to go over how I create my uh, two trap rigs. I know I've done a couple of videos with these, but these are really good to have, especially if you like to surf fish or fish off piers or docks, especially. Uh, you could do a two drop or one drop the same way. I'm going to show you the simplest way where you can actually build your rig in probably about three to five minutes. If you, you know, if you take your time, five minutes. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to show you how I do them. Uh, I'm going to show you with the beads and floats and you can also do them without, the, without them, which even makes the process go faster. So let's go, go over how I do them real quick. So let's start with leader. Here's what you're going to need. Uh, you need some kind of cutters, whether it be just all in one. I like a pair of Lino those and it's another pair of cutters. You can just use just one piece uh, only. Uh, you need your leader, which would be 30. I like to use 30 pound, but I also have 50 pound. I also have 20 and 40 of uh, fluoro and mono. Uh, obviously you need your weights. If you want to use, put your weights, you need your hooks. I have these two watt circle hooks and beads and floats and a barrel swivel. You can also use this for your weight, uh, but I'm going to show you how I do it without, without using the weight, uh, without using this. This makes it a little easier um, also to switch the weights on and off, but uh, you don't need this. So I'll show you how I do it without. So I'm going to take this 30 pound mono, I'm going to take about five feet or so, and I'm just going to cut it. If you see this. Okay, so now I'm going to take this mono, and I need the bottom. So the bottom drop is going to be for my weight. So we're going to do this first. So just do a surgeon's knot. Just a couple turns. Not too tight. Just pinch your, your loop here. Then come back around. Oop. Come back around to the other side. And tighten that. And then you cut your tag end off. We'll do that at the end. So now we're going to do two more of these because it's going to be a two drop break. So now we're going to go up a little bit. Actually, let's uh, space it out a little better. So here's the first drop. Go around, around. I would say two to three times if possible. And then do another surgeon's knot like I did here. Just cinch it. And then you can do the same up top here. Around, around. Hopefully you can see here. It's a little tight around my finger here, but that's fine. Then you're gonna come back around and through the loop. And then you're going to cinch it, pull your, and then this will tie into your barrel swivel on top here. And I like to just use like a, uh, like a clinch knot. You use any type of knot you like, but that's just what I use. Do a few twists. Come back around. Through the loop. You can also go through the eye of the barrel swivel if you like that's called an improved one. And I just wet it. I just pull it. And I cinch that knot. Now I can start cutting some tag ends here. And then the bottom here. This is kind of a short one. I probably should have made it a little longer, but this is just a a little example how I do how I do these. So now we're gonna um, we're gonna do our first bottom hook. We use no hardware besides the hook, but we're gonna throw beads on too. So I like to throw one bead on. This is all optional. You don't have to do this. It takes a little more time. And I like to throw a little floater on. This definitely helps. I recommend these, especially in the surf, because it helps suspend your weight off the off the surface. And then another bead. And then you can take your hook. So you want your barb hook end facing facing you, facing the side, and then you push your line, your loop here. Let's tighten that up a little bit. Push it through the eye of the hook, then come around the front of it. Hope you can see here. 
come around the front and then just go around the hook itself. Just like that. Then pull it, cinch it. So that's your hook. So now if you need to, you can replace this, this hook. If you want to put a different size hook on or a new hook, same size. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. This drops a little, not too low, but that's fine. Throw a bead on, a float. Float comes right through here. And then uh, the speed. Like I said, this stuff's all optional. And then your hook, same thing. Gonna come through your eye. Around the front of the hook. And then pull your cinch it. Like I said, this is nice and easy to replace if you need to just kind of pull it back down. And then go around the opposite side of the hook, just like that. And it's gone. Replace it, put its different size on. Different style, you can put a J hook on on the fly, whatever you like. So that's it. So now we put the weight on the bottom here. And like I said, we could tie one on or we can throw one on like that. So we'll throw this two ounce one on just as an example. And it goes the same way almost as the hook. Come through your eye. No, it was a fly flying around. And then it's come around the bottom of your weight and come up just like that. And that's it. You have a two drop rig. That was a couple minutes. And you can be faster if you don't put any accessories on like I do. I like the bling because it definitely helps, I think, attract the fish. And that's it. We'll do another one with, with this just to show you an example, but you don't need to do that. All right, let's go. With some 20 pound hybrid mon mono uh, fluoro. Go a little longer. This one, so it makes it a little easier. But I also want to be able to see it. It's going to be tough to see because this is a smaller diameter line, but same concept. This time that we're going to tie on uh, a quick connect for the, for the weight just to show you another example and we're not gonna put beads on we're just gonna put floats I guess on this guy well we, we can say we have some beads here not many but okay all right so let's go so we're gonna take so we're just gonna do our two drops rigs to start so we're gonna take this we're gonna pinch it and then we're gonna come around one two I like to do two or three two's fine for me I never had a problem Either way, it's going to be tight around your finger, unfortunately. And there's your loop. They're going to come back around through the other end. Pull through, and then you're just going to tighten it up. That'll be your first drop. Then we'll do another drop here. Same concept. Let's come around. Pull through. Oop. Let's do that again. Okay, come back around, pull your hoop through. I don't want to make these too long so I'm going to be able to see everything in the video. Okay, so there's your two drops. One's a little longer than the other, but that, that's fine. Okay, so now this will be where your barrel swivel goes. Like, 
like I said, do a little clinch knot. Like I said, you can do any knot you want here. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Come back around. Wet it. And cinch it. Put your tag in. Okay, so let's do our drops. Because this is the most tedious part of this whole thing, really. Especially if you're using beads. Let's get a float out. We need two floats. I'm out of my bigger beads, so these little ones are kind of tough, but they do work. Put your bead in. Just pull through. Get your float. This line's not as rigid as your regular mono, thicker mono. Kind of really have to feed it through the bead or the float. There it goes. Pull it through. And grab another bead. Pull it through. I'm going to take these little hooks here, little size sixes. Same concept, go through your eye. Oop. These are going to be really tight because they're really small. Go through your eye, come back around, around the front of your hook where your barb is, and pull through. Like I said, you can switch this out if you need to, just pull it back the other way. So that's one drop. Let's do our second drop. These little, like I said, lines are a little, well, take a little longer than your bigger lines. Just saying everything. Like I said, these are optional. You don't need to. Do, you don't need to put these on. I personally have better luck with with them than I don't. Then take your little hook again. And go through your eye. Sometimes you got to crimp it down a little bit with your fingers because the eye on this hook is so small. Okay, there it goes. Pump around. Around your hook. Cinch it. Okay, so now we'll tie on our quick connect or for our weights. Do the same type of knot. I just do like a little clinch knot. This one we'll do an approved one. We'll go through the eye and the line. So it goes through both. The eye, the barrel swivel, and the wet it, pull it, and that's a nice tight knot. Very rarely have problems with that knot. Cut your tag end off, and there you are, you have another two drop rig. And that's how it would look like. You can put your weight on, whatever size weight you want, just snap it on, quick connect, and that's it. So they have two, two, two drop rigs. In like 10 minutes or so. A couple of things I like to do after I make my lures, I like to put them in little sandwich bags. 
kind of organize them. Just like one drop, a couple two drops, different size hooks. I like to keep them in sandwich bags. It's kind of just put them in my tackle bag, kind of tackle box like this. That's a bag for me. And I also have some like some some jigs. Obviously, you need a measuring device. I have a little roller, some weights. Throw in the one of the side pockets, but I'll throw it here for right now. I like to bring like a little uh, floater, jerk bait or something, or lipless uh, spoon, uh, top water. This is mainly for bass, but that's what I have right now with me. And I like to bring some um, some fish bites and some um, some gulp, chartreuse and white. And I also have pink somewhere. Um, I like to put them in a the bag too. And obviously you need your tools and weights and suntan lotion, bug spray. And you're pretty much ready to go. Fish plates in here. And you have your tools and a tail. Boom. Ready to go. I already have my leader. And this is a shoulder bag I like to carry around. Alright, that's it.